Hi, welcome for our online training sessions. In this session, we are going to discuss first order to cash cycle. Order to cash cycle. How the sales orders will be created, how it will be booked, how to release the goods, and then how it will be confirmed. Okay, so we are going to have three different parts. Part one, we are going to discuss how to create sales order. What are the roles required to create the sales order and then book the order and then how we can go for. We'll go with the new employee. We'll take new employee and then we'll add the roles and data access and then we will go with the process. Okay, so first what we have to do is let's go for hire employee and configure user account. And then we are going to have the roles user. And then we will provide data access to the user, data access to the user. Order management means it comes as a business unit, is the data access. After providing the data access, then we will go for LDAP process we are going to run. After running the LDAP process, then we are going to create sales order. After creating the sales order, then we will go for book the sales order. The sales order. This is part one. We are going to do it. Then after that, we will come to the inventory module. In the inventory module, we'll come back to this. go for pick release, nothing but release the goods uh, from supplier. That's what we are going to do it here. Sorry, from the inventory, pick release, pick confirmation and ship the goods shipping to the customer location. And after shipping the goods to customer, we'll just cross check the order status. For order status cross checking. Then we will go for create an invoice. That we will take it as a part three. So that we are going to take it as part three. So what we will try to do is we'll go for auto invoice option. And we are going to create a invoice here. And after that, we'll go for create a receipt. We'll go for receive the amount or check from the customer. And then we'll go for create accounts, transfer accounts to GIA. That's that's the three different uh, statuses we are going for order to cash cycle. Let's uh, go ahead in this session with the order to cash cycle one and then order to cash cycle two here. So let me go for hire an employee here. You can do it from financials or procurement or order management. Let's go for manage users. We already know that, right? It's very simple setup. Hiring employee, user account, roles. We must know the uh, roles which are required to work with order management, right? So let me go for this. I'm mentioning that here, Ramesh. person type is an employee he is an employee for the organization is asking for which company means for which legal employer he is an employee us1 legal entity for us1 business unit let's go for say one close This is the username we have specified here, username. In case if we have user account already, we can link that. Let's go for uh, security console here. Now go to the tab users. 
search for username. Check this checkbox here. Let me reset the password here. First of all, we required an employee role. So because he is an employee, let's go for edit. Uh, this is a basically abstract role to access the self-information. Then we want to create a order, order uh, sales order, right? Order entry specialist. That's the role required. Order entry specialist. Click done. Go for save and close. For which business unit you want to allow this employee to create sales orders that we are supposed to set the data access. So we given the application access, nothing but a role. Now we are going to give the data access, right? So go to the data access option, manage data access for users here. And we are supposed to choose the user and role combination here. What is the user name? We have selected Ramesh Kumar. And we have assigned only one role, that order entry specialist. This is, of course, this is abstract role. We don't find any security required for this. Just choose this order entry specialist. Select your business unit. I'm using US1 business unit for this employee. Let's go for save and close. Once we provide the data access, go to initial users and run this LDAP process. Submit. It takes a couple of minutes time to get refresh. Meanwhile, we need to just go for logout and login to the applications. Log out from here. What we have done here, uh, we created an employee and configured user account. We added the rules. We provided the data access to the user and the LDAP process we have created submitted now we are going to create a sales order so let me log in with this employee once we log in first we have to check the role access we got or not yes we got it order management tab or go to navigator we'll come to know here order management here we got right go to this order management Okay, go for create order. Now we are getting some data here, right? It means your data access also has been applied successfully. If we do not assign the data access to this user, uh, if you log in, you can access this page, but this data will not be populated. Okay, so you got the business unit and you got permission only one business unit. In case if you want to give the permission for multiple business units, then we are supposed to do the same data access, same user and same role, but business unit is different. We are going to assign this. Business unit is different. That's what we are going to specify here it is. Okay, so let's go for customer name. I'm selecting the built-in customer, ACE Networks, because this customer is having AC Networks business, business world. Let me choose this customer. Okay, so now this is our uh, sales order form. Here we are going to create order information, header level who is the customer has given this order, what date. Sometimes the customer will give the order through PO. They'll send the purchase order and we are going to get it that here. And we'll be finding bill to customer billing account and ship to customer shipping address. And this is line information. Line level will specify item name, quantity, unit of measurement, price, this details, item, uh, line level. And uh, we'll find uh, here shipment details and other sales credits, 
and other sh sh scheduling shipment details and all. But two things are mandatory, headers and lines. Okay. So we entered a header level, customer details, bill to customer, ship to customer, and other information header level. Let me choose this item at line level. Eight five. Let me search the item which is having quantity here. Let me choose this item is eight five triple zero. This item name. Now this is having stock also. So I'm going to give the order like uh, three items. Customer has given three items quantity order and we got the price details here. This price will be configured in a separate uh, module like pricing administration. Uh, we'll be talking about in our functional setups, this price list, discount list and uh, charge list. This all details comes. Now we are just trying to add this item to the order line. So this is how the sales order will be created by mentioning the information at header level as well as at uh, line level, okay? And then we, if we want to enter the shipment details, we'll be specifying here from which inventory organization you would like to ship this item to customer that will be mentioned over here. And then uh, in case if we want to go for specify the billing and payment details, we'll be finding here billing and payment details after payment and all. And we'll find sales credits information over here. This. So I'm not going for uh, this uh, shipments and invoice payment at this point of time. I'm just going ahead with the headers and as well as the lines. Okay. So let's go for save this sales order. Now the order has been created successfully here. Now this is order number. If we look at here, draft, draft in the sense, your order is just created. It's not at uh, started processing. So we are supposed to click submit button click submit button, then the system is going to start validation and process this sales order. The order has been submitted for processing. Now it has been submitted for processing. But anyway, that is not actually the status. Actual status we will find here. This is going to be our uh, actual order status. There will be a two statuses, header level, what is the order status, and line level, what is the order status. We'll find two things here. And we need to click refresh button to find whether the order has been scheduled or reserved or not. Right now, still it's not at, uh, started here it is. Let's go for refresh here.
still not started. Okay. We can find the status is uh, scheduled. Sometimes uh, it will be a little bit slow and uh, we have to wait for a couple of minutes and cross check the status or the status here. Now the system is telling us that it's, uh, order is scheduled. Okay. So now we can go to actions menu and uh, switch to fulfillment view. So what it will do is it will show the complete order view information, complete order details here, both header level, line level, and other information we will find here. Go to switch to fulfillment view. Now we can find this is our fulfillment view lines here and we can we can go to the tab called general tab here go to general tab orchestration process number this is important this will be used to track your entire order process here click on this So we can see that the order status scheduled and reserved. Next, what is the next step we have to do? We have to ship this material to the customer location. That we have to do it from inventory model. We have to do it from the inventory model here. So if we go back to the fulfillment lines here, the system has picked up the warehouse details also. Go down here. System has already selected warehouse. From which warehouse we need to ship the goods to customer location? 002 inventory. That is the warehouse code and this is the warehouse uh, name. Name of the warehouse which we have. Here it is. Okay. So how the system will decide from which inventory we are supposed to ship the material? Based on the sourcing rules. There is a concept called sourcing rules in uh, order management module. Through the sourcing rules, we are going to get this information. So those sourcing rules uh, we'll be discussing in our functional setups when we are doing in the next level, okay? So now this order needs to be delivered from which warehouse? 002, that's the warehouse. And what is the item name? AS85000, that's the name of the item. How many items we have to deliver to the customer? Three items. Three items we have to deliver. What is the order number? 97409. 97409. That's the order number. So let me copy this order number here. Now this is done. Both order has been uh, reserved and has been confirmed. Next, we have to go for ship the goods to the customer. For that, what we are supposed to do, we are supposed to check the inventory roles and inventory data access we have to provide for our user okay so that we will see in the second part okay thank you